when did you become an adult film star? You like walking down the road one day and decide, you know what? That's a good question. Uh, how did I become an adult film actress? And why? Well, I was always really interested in modeling. And when the show The Girls Next Door came out on E! I saw the show and I was probably like 17 years old and I was like, that's what I want to do. And I think it's probably the same feeling that, you know, a guy has when he sees like Tom Brady playing football. <laughs> it's kind of what I felt. I was like, I want to be modeling and I want to be up at the Playboy Mansion. And um, I'm from a conservative town at Laguna Beach, California, and I told everybody that that's what I, my dream was, <laughs> and everybody laughed at me because it wasn't something that they were familiar with, right. and they were like, well, I guess that's cool, but I don't think they thought it was serious, and so I moved up to L.A. to go to school because my parents, you know, they were really into education, so I went to UCLA, and while I was there, I just explored like different areas of adult. So I checked out uh, the local gentlemen's club at Foreplay in West Hollywood or Westwood where I was going to school. And I met somebody there that was like, I'll take you up to the Playboy Mansion. And I just lucked out because that's what I really wanted to do. And so I spent a couple of years up there on the weekends while I was getting my undergrad in gender studies and um, race in America. And then I, just kind of slowly worked my way into the adult industry. And I was like, okay, well, if I want to work all the time and I kind of want to control my own destiny, I'm going to have to, you know, have my own website and my own brand. And so I just did the research and I, I had to try really hard to get into the adult industry. I feel like sometimes on television I hear like, oh, somebody was discovered or somebody brought somebody in, but it wasn't like that for me. I was like knocking on the door, <laughs> asking to be hired. I was not hired for quite a bit of time. Like I had an agent who didn't get me any work for months and I was like, oh, this is so hard. What am <laughs> I gonna do? But I found somebody that just booked me and from there, I've just been working for like 10 years, so. That's amazing. So how old were you when you first got into it? I was almost 22 years oh, old. Okay. Well, that, when I started making adult films, right. but I probably started modeling around like 21. Oh, I see. Yeah. So uh, I haven't seen any of your films or anything. Oh, okay. So you like get naked and have sex with guys and all that? Are Not you doing now. all that? No, I am in a monogamous relationship and my partner that I've been with for a year, he just didn't really feel comfortable with me making adult films with men anymore. So now on occasion, I'll shoot for my website, toshrain.com, and then that's about it. And I'll shoot girl, girl, or solo stuff on there. And then I own all my content from like years prior. Oh, so it's still up there yeah. and I make revenue on it. But right now, I just, actually, I went back to school for a master's at USC. You're in at special, USC now, right? I just graduated, so oh, I'm okay. finished. Oh my oh, gosh, good. that was a hard two years. I don't know, taking eight years off to work and then go back to school is something I would never advise to anyone because, <laughs> you know, you're in your routine, yeah, and then right. all of a sudden, some person is telling you what to do. You're like, yeah. what? I want to do what I want to do. I don't want to go to school. That's right. And the commute was like two hours. So anyway, I've been well, writing I'm glad a lot. You're done. Yeah. So, at one point, you were having sex with men, different men, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I was uh, having sex with different men. How many men <laughs> have you had sex with? If you all, all the years put together, how many men have you had sex with? Well, I haven't been counting. Um, Is but there I, two men to count? I wouldn't say there's too many to count. I would say that because I treat my job just like any other job, right. I'm not like tallying. Oh, I guess I it's you. like if you work at McDonald's, you're probably not tallying the days you've worked at McDonald's and how many things you've you how know many done. Burgers you're making. <gasps> right. So yeah. for me, although I did not ever work um, consecutively, like day to day, it was more of like you know I can just shoot when I want to shoot, or if I'm lucky enough to get a booking. I never counted my partners because I didn't think it was super important, but I think that if I go online, I could probably oh, okay. figure it out. But I've had probably more partners than most people on film, but in my personal life, I'm not that spontaneous. So <laughs> it's more of just like a lot of performers 
treat their job as a modeling job and the female pool is very large and there's a high turnover rate like every three months so a lot of the same male talent and then a lot of variety when it comes to the women so for instance my scene partners were often the same male talent so it's like oh. your work husband or your work wife right. but it would just be my same partner that's amazing yeah it was fun so are you when women are having sex with men on film like that mm -hmm. other and the lady be going oh, 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 like it good <laughs> <laughs> are they faking it I think it would totally depend. Are you faking depend. it when you do that? It would depend on the scene. For me personally, I like to work with performers that I'm familiar with already because I have chemistry with them. And just like any other acting job, you want to try to find chemistry with your partner. Right. So I would say the majority of the time I enjoy my job and then other days the job is just a job and I think it's probably the same for you or for anybody oh, at I work. See. So some days you're like, wow, this is really good. Yeah. So you're really doing it, you're into it. Yeah. And some days you're like, Lord, I'll Long be glad day. when this is up. This is yes, oh, 100%. Amazing. And so you just fake the morning. Like, you oh, act. Oh. Yeah. It's an acting job. Does he know you're faking it? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I hope not. <laughs> So your parents are okay? Uh, uh, have they always been okay with you doing this? Um, I would say that my family overall is pretty supportive of my career because I've been really successful at it and I enjoy what I do. And um, I haven't had too much pushback about yeah. it. I'm sure my mom would have rather me become like a doctor or a lawyer because I think that it's a more stable career than entertainment yeah. I think any form of entertainment whether you're like a basketball star or an actress or an adult model it doesn't matter it's very inconsistent so I think that like part of that and um, misguided stereotypes create kind of like confusion but now that it's been over a decade I think everybody is just fine with what I do oh, yeah. yeah your father's okay with it too well, my father did pass from cancer oh, when okay. I was like 21, but he did know that I modeled for Playboy and he was fine with whatever made me happy. And yeah, I actually think it's easier for me to kind of make my own choices because of that. As, as crazy as that sounds, it's like if you don't have family pressure or like societal pressure telling you something is wrong you can make your own choices for yourself and you don't have to like listen to somebody else's idea of what life should be yeah. you know you just do whatever that if you want are you surprised you say you went one man now right you have boyfriend. i do yeah are you surprised that there's a man out there that will want to be with you after all this <laughs> <laughs> no why do you ask that because I can't imagine being with a woman that slept with so many men. Well, how do you know who you're, the woman you're dating with has slept with? But you're on film. Oh, so it's like a proven thing. So it's not like, oh, she could be lying. It's right. like, oh, it's on. Yeah, if yeah I see you have some to woman be on really film. confident. That's the thing. So, so not every man is really confident. My partner is very confident. He's beautiful and he's smart. And I think he just like knows that I'm his. And so he doesn't feel threatened. And he doesn't, it doesn't bother him that you've slept with all these other men? Uh, not to my knowledge. Oh, okay. I, I hope that he has slept with lots of women because... Oh, you hope if, so? Yeah, because you want to have a partner, at least for me, I want to have a partner that's experienced in the bedroom, that isn't going to have a wandering eye because they haven't experienced other partners. A lot oh, of the time, if people haven't been with other people, they get into a monogamous relationship and then they cheat. And I don't want that either. Right. So I think because... We're both experienced and we're both confident. It's a good pair, but obviously, you know, if it wasn't, we wouldn't be together. That's amazing. Yeah.